What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes, heading over to our next service call in the incorporated village of Rockville Center. Rockville Center is uh, in Nassau County, south westernish kind of um, area of Nassau County on Long Island, in the great state of New York. We have an existing client um, that actually we picked up years ago from American Home Shield. And um, we've since converted them to uh, one of our clients who has our maintenance uh, and service plan, where basically for $23.95 a month, uh, we come once a year during the heating season to give a tune-up, it's included, and any repairs throughout the year, you have a discounted rate on services. You don't pay a trip charge, you get emergency service included, and you get priority scheduling. Um, we have a lot of customers signed up for the plan. It's great for recurring revenue for the business, and it also allows me to have an extra technician who basically, if I needed to, would just do tune-ups and just could just handle those service agreements, uh, maintenance agreements. But it's a lot more than that because I don't have that many, but enough where it's just great recurring revenue. Well, let's go see what's going on. He's got a no-heat call. He's got a gas-fired boiler. Uh, we've been there before on camera, so let's go see what's going on. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? You're expecting me, yes? Type. Doctor, right? That's me. Good doctor. You got no heat? Good doctor. Yes, what? I have no heat too. I was away. But okay. I came yesterday, I said no heat. Where is there no heat? In the whole house or? No, the whole house. Where? The, the bedroom. Okay. In the bedrooms. Mm -hmm. So I okay. don't know Let's go check out the thermostat. Some light ones. No, we don't need light. Let's go check out the thermostat. My vision is not as good as yours. It's okay. I'll be there yeah. one day. <laughs> All right. Set for 75 and 58 in here. So you have a, uh, you got a furnace up there. It looks like. Uh, there's R, there's W, there's G, and there's Y. This thermostat has been here for a while. This one here, how about the U or two? Yeah. Okay, let's see if it clicks. Oh, unlock. What is this back? The thermostat's locked, I see here, huh? Why is it locked? Unlock, hold down the button, unlock. Hmm. Why is it locked? See, it says unlock. Okay. How do you unlock it? I don't know. I don't know either. Home. See, it says unlock. Interesting. Back, no. Select, five. I don't know. Is a code? Code, I don't know. Who installed this thermostat for you? Well, it's somebody who came to, to do some work. And then... then How old are the batteries? They told me that was mm. Let's try 2144. I don't know if that's going to work. But let's try it. Unlock, uh, six, no, two, one, oh, oh shoot, <laughs> uh, two, select, one, four, four, select, no, home, no, I don't know. All right, since my thermostat is locked and I can't test if it clicks on or off, I have my red and my white wire. I have them jumped together along with the green wire, which would do fan. And I went to the boiler and already found that the zone is running. So um, the theoretically, the fan should come on, but it's not. All right, I jumped out the R and our fan. And it appears as though the fan is on. All right, I'm just gonna head down to the basement and check out that zone. And my zone five, no, it was zone four. One, two, three, four. It was actually this one that came on and this is still hot, the other ones are cool. But zone four was on and energized. So my fan is on now. Um, I just need to put back my W wire so I can have the call for heat, sending hot water up there, and I'm gonna use my FLIR 
thermal imaging adapter for my iPhone, and we're gonna see if we got heat. All right, I hooked the white wire back up to my jump to R and G for fan, and felt like 10 seconds later the fan kicked off. So let's just see. Oh, so we had some heat coming out of there. Let's see if that zone is see? on. See? Zone four is on. She's hot. Hmm. Oh, there's the ladder. Here's the hatch. Here's the ceiling. Not much room to work here, but there's my air handler. I see an Argo box right there. I still got a feeling something's wrong with this thermostat. So I just realized that I made it all the way up here and uh, I didn't bring my tool bag. Kind of sucks. So I do have my handy dandy notebook. No, just joking. Handy dandy Leatherman. Shout out to a company that I used to be a very uh, proud contractor to install. Uh, they sent this to me for installing a bunch of their equipment. I used some points, rewards, and they sent this to me. Leatherman. And only recently did I start, you know, carrying it. And believe it or not, it's had a lot of uses so far. I'm going to go into this Argo box, and we're going to investigate. There's the Argo box. We have a call for fan, call for heat, and our Aquastat is lit up. So I wonder if our Aquastat is not sensing temperature. That's the reason why it's not on. So we're going to jump out Aquastat and uh, see if that works, because the fan should be on. The fan should be on. All right, I had just jumped my Leatherman R and G, and a few seconds later, the fan came on. So right now, I am putting R and G together at that terminal. I'm gonna turn our power back on. We have a call, active call right there. And our Aquastat, I'm gonna put that back on there where it belongs since I know that it's actually sensing temperature because the Aquastat light went out that um, we should be good. Yep, there's our fan, there's our Aquastat. So now we have that hot, oof, wow. That hot water flowing to our hydro coil here. Looks like we have a bad, uh, what is it, the AHR? What is this? This is uh, ARH1, Argo. So temporarily, uh, the fan will be on until I replace this box, uh, but I'll, he'll have heat in that master bedroom suite. All right, ladies and gentlemen, bu uh, busted out the thermostat from the truck. I had to dig deep, fell off the shelf and behind the shelf onto the back. Oh man, I knew I had one because I saw a package of batteries that comes with the Series 80 White Rogers, but uh, found that in the truck, got that on the wall, Got in temporary heat, ordered another AR, AHR1 Argo switching relay. Yeah, I guess I could have used a relay and rewired it, but you know what? I wasn't getting my ass back into that attic. We'll make another video of the actual install of the new Argo switching relay, and, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, it is uh, starting to rain here in New York. They're predicting a monsoon for Thanksgiving uh, holiday weekend travels. It's going to interrupt a lot of people. So I hope uh, all those who celebrate travel safely. I hope you get to your destination and you can celebrate with your families and friends. And have a great time on Turkey Day. I will be live streaming Thursday uh, afternoon the, uh, the deep fried turkey. So stick around and uh, check in. Sign in. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Heading over to the next job. They got a Bosch. No heat. Of course, always before holiday weekend. Oh, they're going to be shivering. <laughs>